Another broken plate, another car off day. We never seem to get it right. Another heart attack. What's up, we can take back? We are the reason. Good morning! We are going to Vegas today. Woo! We're going for Dom's birthday trip week. So he's still getting ready right now. It's only 5.30 in the morning. So I'm still really groggy, very tired, but I'm so excited. This is my first time going to Vegas. We're gonna do our COVID test at the airport. We're gonna head out soon. So I'll see you guys at the airport. Are you excited for Vegas? Negative test results. Let's go. Wow, the room's nice, right? We're in Vegas. Yes, the room is honestly. <laughs> The room is honestly so nice. I did a upgrade because they gave us this like really good deal that I think it was like $8 extra a night and then you can upgrade to this really, really, really nice room. Once you walk in, there's a huge TV. There's like a whole area to chill, like a living room space. You go in here and I feel like the washroom is where you decide how nice this hotel is. This is the sink, so it's blocks space to get ready. Look at the shower space. It's so nice, you got shower. This is like a bathtub. Looking out over there is actually the, um, what is that called again? The fountain. So you get like a fountain view. And then over here is the bedroom. They said this is a king bed. Is this the king bed? Yeah, it's, I think it's a king bed. It's not a California king for sure. And then you get the balcony. Wow. Look at that view. So we have, ooh, I'm pale. So we have 15 minutes to get ready before our buffet. So we're gonna walk there. I think it's, someone told me that in Vegas, one block equals like 13 blocks. So in between hotels, because they're so huge, it's actually like takes forever. Also update on my brows, still really flaky, but I'm just gonna ignore it. Cause like, who cares? Let's go eat guys. We're lost. Vegas is huge. It seems like it's just two hotels down, but it's like 20 blocks. So we're trying to find the place right now. Hopefully they still have our reservation because I'm starving. Okay, we just got here. We weren't late at all. Turns out once you check in, there's still like another line. So I think we waited around, let's see, around like 45 minutes for my reservation, but not bad, but I am starving. I am so hungry. Everything smells so good, so I can't wait to show you guys all the food. <gasps> I'm so excited again. Obviously, first things first, I had to go for the seafood section. We got snow crabs, we got shrimp, and then I love me some prime rib and truffle mashed potatoes. I'm gonna eat first, especially the meat, because I feel like the meat doesn't taste that good once it dries up. Mm. Wow. That's a really good smoked brisket. It's like juicy. It's not dry at all. Mm. Let's try the prime rib. I got medium rare. Prime rib always hits the spot. It's so good. I went all out. <laughs> this is too heavy. Did you get the brisket too? Yeah. The brisket was, is really good, but the prime rib is really good. Try some of my truffle mashed potatoes. Mm. Lobster mac and cheese dry. So good. With a piece of lobster. Mm. So good. Mm. 
little tip. Don't get the snow crabs at the front. I asked for the ones in the back and then it's way bigger and then also it's a little bit more warm up. But if you like your seafood chill, just get the ones in the front. If you like it warm, you can ask them to warm it up for you. Let's go get round two and I want to go look at the Asian food section. So I'll show you guys quickly what it looks like. Kimchi fried rice, Korean chicken. There's like a whole like dim sum section too. I'm back with round two and this time I got some Asian food but then after walking around I realized that I really like seafood so I got more crab legs Let's try the fried rice first mm. And the chili crab mm, Not bad You know what, I'm definitely just here for the snow crabs Not even gonna lie I love that they have butter here So good Dom says this is what I look like when he saw me. <laughs> I'm like so happy. Sipping around. <laughs> oh, <turn her> place. <laughs> We're back in our hotel room. We actually did 13,000 steps today just walking around the strip. My legs are so sore. I'm gonna change into my night outfit before we go watch the O show at Cirque. So excited. You can't actually bring your cameras to any of these shows. So I'm just gonna be bringing my phone and kind of just enjoy the night. So we're gonna go out for drinks now. We're actually gonna go to a place called The Barber Shop. That's actually in the Cosmo. It's like a secret bar. This is what I'm wearing. I'm wearing just like a romper from Aritzia blazer, a bag, and that's it. Good morning everyone! It's the next day. Yesterday was honestly so much fun. I highly recommend checking out the barbershop. It's like a secret bar in the Cosmo Hotel and they have a lot of whiskey and bourbon and rum there. They started playing live music I think around 10 p.m. so we missed it but the drinks were honestly so good. I highly recommend checking out the one that has the lotus flower and I also like the berry one with the strawberry but I swapped mine out with gin because I think I like that a little bit better. The Osho was also really really good. The stage was beautiful. The whole setup was just such a beautiful amazing show so I would recommend that too. And then afterwards we just walked around and then we went to um, Secret Pizza which I also love. It took us like 30 minutes to find it. It's on the third floor of the Cosmo beside the Chop House. So if you want to go check it out, you have to just go up and it's between like these walls. So it's like a magazine wall. It's not that secret because there was also a line and there's a lot of people there, but it's hard to find. We're at Dirt Dog and I'm so excited to eat. I saw so many of you guys recommend it to me on Instagram. The food is here. The dirty corn here. And then this one is the house dog. Dirty house dog first. And I got the toasted bread, guys. Really good. 
the bread is really good, right? Yeah. Next, I'm gonna try the dirty corn, which I'm so excited for. Mm. This is so good. That's good, right? Let me find out what like this is. So they're both good. Highly recommend. This place I would recommend coming for sure. Thanks for the recommendation, guys. This is our top. You see here, 350 pounds sitting in the And then you can go there to weigh yourself to see if you actually weigh 350 pounds. This was another place that was really recommended by you guys and I'm trying their um, waffle but I also got a drink it's so pretty it's called the gin and out and then it has gin lemon juice and pineapple juice super pretty Ooh, it's strong so I'm caught a the fuego I love spicy pineapple drink no, like in cheese. It's, uh, they live on. That's very good. It's like a margarita. Yeah. Yes. Thank, you. Thank, Thank you so much. You. What we're here for red velvet chicken waffles. It looks. This is really good. Careful. Would recommend. The waffle, though, is the highlight. The chicken is good, but the waffle, it's so fluffy and so soft. We're gonna get tickets now to go to Mega Mart which is basically a grocery store that has a lot of really, really, really cool things. There's like tattoo chicken. I don't know. It's, it's apparently really, really, really trippy. So I'm going to show you guys when we get in. Look at this tattoo chicken. You basically get a card like this and then you become like an employee here. I'm not going to spoil it. So that way if you do come, you get to do the missions on your own. But it's pretty cool. It's only a $3 add-on experience to get like this employee card here. That was really fun, but I would recommend it only if you have enough time and if you have data. Because I feel like it wasn't loading on our phone, so we were pretty confused. Or I might just be really stupid. I don't know. <laughs> we're gonna head back to our hotel now before we go for dinner. I wanna quickly change into an outfit that I can eat and not worry about getting dirty because we're gonna get hot. So we're at the X spot now. They have two types of menu. They have like a chef tasting menu and then they also have the a la carte. The chef tasting menu is around $158 a person. But it comes with like appetizers, the main course hot pot, and also comes with like you. <laughs> Golden chicken broth. That looks so rich. That looks delicious. The soup broth is so good. It's like really rich. It's kind of loud in here, so I'm not going to vlog too much. I'm just going to show you guys clips of the food, and I'm going to dig in. Thank you so much for saying hi. Totally, totally made my trip. I love it when you guys say hi. Vegas is honestly crazy. I cannot believe hotels have like canals in there. There's like buildings, like blue sky. It's actually raining outside, so we're just gonna walk inside the mall. We need to walk off some of this food before we watch David Carfield because I am literally stuffed to my core. That was around almost $600 which was kind of after tip, it was around $600, which is definitely pricey. It is really, really delicious. The meat and the food is worth it. The service is super, super, super worth it. So nice. You get like a bib and everything. 
but definitely on the pricier side. However, if you like Wagyu beef, you like seafood, you like hot pot, totally worth it. So worth it. We just got back to the hotel. We're running late. Quickly change, and we're gonna head out to watch David Copperfield. Just got back from our COVID exam and today is our last day here. I'm so sad that we're leaving, but then I feel like with Vegas, I feel like three, four, five days is more than enough because it's honestly a lot. I've been having so, so, so much fun and I'm actually excited to come back again. I think there's so many more shows that I actually want to see. Also, public service announcement, Vegas is huge. So if you're wearing heels, I highly recommend just Ubering around. Yesterday too, we did 19,000 steps, which is crazy. I'll do the nitro matcha. Yeah. I'll just do water then. Okay. Yes, yeah, sure. please. Thank, Thank you. you. So we're at Tekka Bar Hand Roll in Sake. It's so cool. They have like green tea on top. They have a bunch of different hand rolls, so we're gonna be doing the high roller. From what I hear on Google reviews, unless you sit down at the bars, you're actually not able to order the rollers. You can only order their to-go set, which is like sashimi and like regular sushi. But we're gonna get the high roller, which comes with salmon, yellowtail, bay scallop, lobster, toro, and spicy tuna for $38. I am excited. This is what the rolls look like. This is the salmon. I'm gonna try with the yuzu, yuzu sauce. Mm. That's really good. It's really fresh. Yuzu sauce? Yuzu sauce. As for the spicy sauce, and the yuzu sauce and the spicy sauce is really good. And they also got matcha on tap. It's very light. I have scallop and it's just a lot I really like the yuzu sauce. We're now at egg slut, which I'm so excited. I haven't had egg slut in a long, long time. Last time I had it was in LA. And as usual, every time you come, there's a line. The line's not that bad. I think we lined up for around. 15 minutes or so it's a wraparound from what I hear on Google once again and what you guys were saying is that during the morning time the line is crazy apparently it's like almost like an hour ish line so it wasn't bad so we're just grabbing the slut the truffle hash browns and of course fresh squeezed orange juice I never tried this before it's their duck fat truffle fries it has rosemary and stuff on it I want to try the hash browns, right? Oh yeah, sorry. It is duck, duck fat truffle hash browns. Okay. Oh, this is delicious. That is really good. Look at all these different alcohol that you can order. You can do like Baja Blast, Beach Berry. Ooh, they have everything. You can also pick which alcohol you want. So, we don't really have Taco Bells in Vancouver. I think they're all out in like Surrey and stuff like that, so it's a little bit farther. And on top of that, because they're so far, no one ever offers Uber Eats. So, I barely ever get to talk about because it's like, a 25 to 30 minute drive from my house to go get Taco Bell. I think we need to try this. This is Baja Blast with tequila. So good. Baja Blast is. That's good, right? That's dangerous. But this is super yummy. Honestly, there's no other shape more beautiful than this shape in this world. People were saying that this is the freshest Taco Bell too, though. The food is actually really fresh. But this is definitely one of the freshest French wraps we've ever had. This is how far we 
Wawa from Aria all the way over there, which is where Treasure Island is. I'm gonna just see all the way down there. And then we walk all the way back here again. Happy birthday! Are you having fun? Yeah, a lot of fun. I'll quickly do my hair before heading out for dinner and drinks. Going to head out now. Let's go. This one is a mushroom margarita. It's kind of good. Just got back to our hotel room and we thought we would chill here before we have to go towards the show. Um, honestly, I would say for the dinner, I would rate it around like a 6 out of 10. It's a little bit too sweet and heavy and oily for my liking. Um, but that's just my opinion. I think it's definitely targeted more towards the Western audience. Also, um, the spice level was really high. So we ordered a 6 out of 10 spice level for our first dish and it was so spicy i couldn't even finish it yeah and we usually eat pretty spicy yeah we eat pretty spicy so i would say that if you are gonna go probably do like a four out of ten if you're not normally used to eating spicy spicy food that was around a hundred and sixty dollar 180 dollar usd for everything ordered so the fish the prawns the duck the rice and the crispy rice and as well as one drink so it's not horrible compared to at least yesterday when we had x-pot that was around 500 dollars usd but that was very different because that one was like wagyu seafood and everything it is also a 10 minute drive through uber outside of the strip so just keep that in mind if you are gonna be going and make sure you do make reservations if you are interested in going because it's very very, very popular so um the reservations fill up pretty quick so I would highly recommend making a rezzo before. We're just gonna chill in our room before our show. I hope you guys like this travel vlog. If you do, make sure to comment down below what is the next place you guys recommend me to go to. I think the next travel place I'm going to is Hawaii. So if you have any other Hawaii food recommendation, make sure to comment down below. I hope you guys like this vlog. Make sure to subscribe and like, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.